20 years ago, New York City mandated better safety measures for cab drivers after a string of violent attacks, which leads us to the question, should New Mexico now follow suit? It really shook us all. Cab drivers in Albuquerque are on edge. Their safety now center stage after fellow driver Larry Mullen was murdered and carjacked by a passenger. I mean, a guy sits in the cab and just slits the throat. It's like unprovoked. Investigators say Mullen's throat was slashed. His body found in this parking lot. It was a vicious attack that may have been prevented if Mullen's cab had a partition, aka protective glass, between the driver and passenger. In New York City, every cab driver is required to have a partition or a security camera. In New Mexico, cabs aren't required to have either. At the Sunport today, not one single cab had protective glass. Do you think this man's life could have been saved if there was protective glass in his cab? Of course, it's, it's really sad. Javid Tariq, the co-founder of the Taxi Workers Alliance in NYC, was shocked to hear New Mexico has minimal safety protocols for taxi drivers. For your own safety, you have to have this partition, and it is very important to save your life. The New Mexico Public Regulation Commission oversees taxi businesses. It told us today there's never been such a violent attack on a cab driver before, and that strict safety regulations have never been needed. But officials may now discuss increasing safety requirements. And after Mullen's death, cab drivers say that discussion needs to happen. In the coming days, we'll be talking about it, that, uh, what, how this thing could be prevented in future, you know. Tonight, Mullen's wife told us she wished her husband had that protective glass in his cab the night of the attack. Matt Howerton, KOAT Action 7 News. And